The Dead Messenger Waveframe Exotic Grenade Launcher is now craftable, and it's even better than before. You can acquire the pattern by running the Vox Obscura mission in the Legends tab, as well as more intrinsic upgrades by running the mission on high difficulty repeatedly. You also get patterns for notable Season of the Risen weapons such as Thoughtless, Peace of Mind, and Explosive Personality. The god roll for this weapon is quick launch for the extra velocity and handling, high velocity rounds for the reload and velocity boosts, short action stock for the highest handling stat, and demolitionist. You can also use unrelenting if you want for another source of healing, but overall demolitionist is the best perk in slot since it allows you to build into your grenades, giving 10% energy on each kill. The catalyst, as we already know, has turnabout, allowing us to gain an overshield when breaking a combatant shield. The weapon has an exotic perk called the Fundamentals, which works the same as Hardlight's perk, which allows you to swap between Arc, Solar, and Void Affinities. Now, there are a few cool things you can do to enhance this weapon on each Light subclass. Firstly, on the Arc subclass, you can use the Fragment Spark of Beacons, which reads, While you are amplified, your Arc special weapon, Final Blows, create a blinding explosion. This is a really cool way to give you blinding grenades on a waveframe grenade launcher, which is even better on this weapon since you can fire three waves. Next, on Void, you can use Volatile Rounds with the Fragment Echo of Instability to give your weapon chain reaction-like explosions. This is fantastic for ad clear and allows it to compete with weapons like Forbearance. Since it can be volatile, it also works for stunning barrier champions. Lastly, for Solar, you can use a few fragments, including Ember of Tempering for increased recovery and fire sprite generation, and Ember of Empyrean to help extend the duration of your restoration and radiant effects. Dead Messenger is going to be an extremely viable option for in-game content, especially now with its craftable state, and I'm super excited to take it out in the battlefield for some fun gameplay. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be using this weapon, or if you already do. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the post notifications bell and dropping a like, as it allows me to continue making videos just like this one. Have a great rest of your day, Guardians, and peace.